All right, we're here in downtown Toronto, and uh, guess who I'm with? It's the Potato Jet G. Hey, show your face. You're covering your face. Stop that. Stop that. Re remember, like eight months ago, <laughs> we were in this exact same spot right here, and you were wearing shorts in the winter. Now you have pants on. Yeah, it's kind of cold. It's it's <laughs> summer. It's hot, man. What are it you is doing? warm. Last time I came here, it was so cold. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna come better prepared. <laughs> I'm surprised now you're not hot. wearing like a winter jacket or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you here, though. I've been showing Gina uh, the cottage life here mm -hmm. in Canada. Oh How'd my god. How'd you like that? Enjoy it. Oh yeah, that was like that was peaceful. That's why I need to learn how to manage time like Maddie does. I don't know how you have time to make these YouTube videos and then still go and just relax all day in a cottage in the middle of nowhere. How do you do that? Teach me. Uh, I think the answer is to just start daily vlogging and then you have a lot of time. <laughs> that doesn't I think, sound I think that's right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right at all. I think that's it. <laughs> this is just a part-time thing. I'm having a little camera affair how right now. How could you? Please don't. How could you? Please don't show this footage. <laughs> Can you have Matt like superimpose Canon on here? So. Um, nope, <laughs> nope, we can't do that, sorry. So Gene's switching over to Sony, and uh, what's the what's the gimbal? This is a Zhiyun M2. Look how minimalist this is. I kind of like how tiny this is. I mean, look at mine compared to. I wish you had a mirror so I could show you. <laughs> but this is like a third of the size of Maddie's rig right the, now. The only downside is you have to switch to Sony. So. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, just look, kidding. We love Sony too, right? I'm just kidding. We do. <laughs> <laughs> it is really small, but the joystick's kind of weird. Oh, uh, I broke that part. <laughs> yeah, it's, of course uh, you did, Gene. Of course you did. <laughs> it didn't last very long. Were you playing with like fire or something like that when that happened? No, I set it down like this. No, and then it just disappeared. I don't know what happened. Nobody believes you. Nobody believes you. You probably like kick flipped straight into the stick or something. <laughs> so I think Gene is doing some uh, reviewing, but I thought it'd be a good chance to do a little Q and A with Gene because he has some good insight on things, and I don't know, it might just be fun to hear uh, what he thinks about stuff instead of just me always answering your guys' questions, so. I have a question for you. How do you vlog in front of all these people and not get weirded out? Um, what people? What are you talking about? Well, just only like the 800 people that are staring. <laughs> don't you get in the zone? Once you're like, once you start, once you put on the camera, you hit record, you're just like in the zone. I don't even think about people. No, that's pretty good, because like whenever I vlog, I'll go hide in the corner. That's why <laughs> you'll see me like crouch down between a dumpster and a few other. <laughs> uh, so do you want to find a dumpster for the Q and A? Or... Be good. Yeah, that'd be that'd, that'd be, be okay. That'd yeah, be we'll be find a, we'll find a dumpster for you. <laughs> he, oh, this way. He always <laughs> has to outdo me in these <laughs> intros. You your sit-down was so lame, Maddie. That I know. You have to check yourself, though. There's a bunch of, like, goose poo around oh, no, here. Oh, so. no, there is. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a QA. and a I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys had any questions for us, if you wanted to specifically ask Gene. Potato chip. But I generally go by Gene because I get weird looks at Starbucks when I order drinks. Yeah. Okay, what, what's one, your, one of your favorite YouTube channels that has nothing to do with photography or cinematography? Mark Rober. Oh, yeah, that's a good you one. you like him? Yeah. yeah. Mark Rober's great. He only if you're not watching his stuff, you should watch his stuff. He only puts out one video like a month, but every gets, time they come, I'm like, oh yeah. And he still gets way more views than we'll ever get in <laughs> Yeah, our, it's our insane. Life. Uh, Willie Morris, do you know Willie? No. You should know Willie. Okay. Willie. Uh, would you rather be a unicorn or a narwhal? Unicorn? This is way magical. Yeah, well, uni unicorns don't exist, right? Narwhals do. I think they do. Here's a good one. Why don't you drink coffee? That's, yeah, that's, that's easy. a good, good question. It's because it's garbage. <laughs> How many unsubscribes did I just get? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I, I don't even mind coffee. I just don't drink it. I think you're broken. <laughs> like you're supposed There's to something. get tired as an adult unless you have it. It's like fuel. <laughs> There's something <And> broken. <laughs> you're surrounded by coffee drinkers all the time. Uh, okay. How do you stay focused on getting work done when there are so many distractions, if you don't have a studio or a place to go to work, any tips would be helpful. Oh, that's that's a tough one. I have to go and lock my, well now I have a studio, so that helps a ton because I can just put a do not disturb. So actually I have a little, Carrie got me one and I hang it on the door. An actual says, do not go disturb? Away. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so that's a good one. Well, yeah, if you're working from home and you have distractions, get rid of those distractions, whatever they are. Like if it's the internet or whatever, 
turn it off, get rid of it. Well, one way I try to explain it to a lot of people is that it's kind of like being on a freeway and you're like, once you're in the zone, you oh, just have yeah. to stay on that zone as long as possible. Yeah. And every little teeny distraction is like getting off the freeway and then and like, having to get back on it again. Exactly. Like, it's not yeah. like you could just stop and then just go full speed again. You have to go yeah. and deviate, navigate through some crappy lights and some yeah. windy roads that don't make sense. And then you can finally get back on. Yeah, I think you just gotta get in the zone. Just practice that. Yeah. Okay, this was a good one. If you had to restart your careers as video filmmakers, what would you do different? That's a tough one. I'd probably have started YouTube way Same. earlier. <laughs> That's yeah, because I didn't start YouTube until after about 10 years of doing video stuff. Uh, oh, did are you, we about to get current? Did you, we have invaders. <laughs> Think they're gonna join us for the Q&A? This is my grass, get away. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's looking at me. He's like, yo, don't mess with me. He's gonna answer the, the next question for you guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I would say the same thing. I would have started YouTube earlier. I would have started to build my own business, my own brand a lot earlier than I did. Yeah, for sure. And I actually, I started a YouTube channel in, I think, 2009. And I put out about a few videos and I actually got a decent batch of subscribers and I was like, this is stupid. This is <laughs> it's kind of like half this is stupid and half like this is embarrassing. I don't want people to find this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I deleted it. Yeah, that's probably my biggest regret ever. <laughs> was that channel also called Potato Jet? No, okay. it was uh, something completely random. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Potato Jet just not random. Yeah. It was something completely random. Potato Jet's just normal. That yes. Was, yeah. Okay, Jared asks, how do you overcome feelings like people are judging you for making vlogs, YouTube content, including family and friends? I would say to this one, like you just gotta get over it. For the first few vlogs, I was honestly like, I don't think I want my uh, friends anybody. and family to see this. <laughs> and you know, it took me a long time to hit like even a thousand subscribers. That took me a while. So for the longest time, I told nobody about it. I just kind of started <laughs> making it. Uh, but so. I feel like the longer you wait, the more awkward it gets. It's like, oh yeah, I've been making these videos for three years now. You know, it's like, it's like <laughs> super embarrassed. Like you're, you're it, you can tell that you're embarrassed by it. You just gotta. If you're gonna do this, just be you, do you, don't be shy, don't be overly conscious about what other people think, because that's always gonna, you're never gonna be able to make a really good channel if you're always thinking about what other people are thinking about you. You just have to make the things that you think are good and not worry about what other people are thinking about. Exactly. I don't care at all about all these people <laughs> behind here just staring at us. I don't, that doesn't bug me at all. Do the, do the geese? Yeah, <laughs> you're subconscious, go away. What did you do when you were first getting into videography and how did you get, how did you start getting recommended? Don't be a piece of <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> No, are I, you calling this person? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. But maybe, actually, I don't know, he could be. <laughs> I think a lot of it is word of mouth. You'll encounter a lot of new clients, but there's always a few yeah. that are like, we really like working with you and we want to continue working with you. And it really just takes a few good contacts to branch out into a bunch, especially if you're doing good work, you're easy to work with, you're fun to work with, and, yeah. and uh, you don't you don't backstab people, because <laughs> that happens all the time. At least in LA, what's, what's it like here? Is no, it, no, no, we're nice people here. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah, of course. You Canadians are super innocent. Even though someone just tried <laughs> to steal my tripod about Off your 20 back. minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, we were just eating I'm ice cream. I'm taking this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? What is this? And then proceeded to walk and try to grab somebody's bike. I, <laughs> yeah. He was definitely the worst pickpocket in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Canada is a really safe place, huh? Yeah, totally. <laughs> but what was your first project? What, what, what did you first get? It, like, what was your first paid things? Oh, uh, music video for 200 bucks like for Sick. shooting, editing, all that stuff. It only took me like four or five days to do. Uh, and then, <laughs> so yeah, you're making good do. money. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know, this all has to start somewhere. What was oh, your yeah. first paid gig? Wedding. Wedding? Okay, this, yeah. this guy oh, just man. took a big out. dump right beside us. That, oh, is, that is not <laughs> even, I'm gonna have to, I'll prove it to you guys right here. Mm. Oh, yeah, here fresh, here. fresh one right there for you guys. Thanks buddy, appreciate it. How can we work like under these <laughs> conditions? <laughs> What's the funnest job you've ever done? A funnest job? Uh, I mean, not including, not including YouTube yeah. stuff. Uh, probably I did a gig for Visit Norway. We got to travel around in Norway every oh. single day, a different hotel, different restaurants, different epic places. Me, my wife, and two of our friends. 
that was probably the most fun job I think. I that had. sounds awesome. Yeah, that was fun. Travel gigs. How about you? I can't go. I can't follow that. that. Beat that, Gene. Not, I, like, I once got to go on a helicopter while filming. That's that's all I got. <laughs> What's your favorite travel destination and why? Mine's Norway for for like epic landscape scenery, and then if I want to just pure relax, uh, Maui. That's my favorite place. I'm having a really hard time thinking one. <laughs> Carrie. No, you can't ask a friend. Gary, what's my favorite <laughs> travel destination? It's probably Ooh. Canada, right? Toronto. Toronto, done. W can you tell us which LUT filters you recommend using some stuff in F uh, Final Cut Pro 10 but want something better? Well, obviously, you should use our LUTs. That's, the, uh, that's Especially, I mean, the ones at maddiehapoya.com, they're all right, but really, potatojet.com. Really, uh, though, like, they're, really, they're really, mine that you should really, be using. Really, no. But. I'm an enthusiast photographer. How can I grow my IG account? I don't know anything about Instagram. You, Neither you do I. Lot, you have a lot of followers on Instagram. I, I, don't think that, I don't think there is a single way to, to really grow Instagram right now. I think you almost have to have some sort of other thing that brings people to your Instagram account. I feel like that's how most people grow nowadays. I think it's really, really hard to yeah. just grow an Instagram account from scratch. Unless you could post, I think, maybe consistently and nah, that a lot even... of high quality, you don't think no, so? No, there's a ton of people have that incredible photos that post consistently and they still don't have a lot of followers. I bet you I could do that if I wore a bikini in all <laughs> of my shots. <laughs> okay, that's the answer. <laughs> Jean in a bikini will get that, you. You know what? I think I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. What are you planning for the future outside of YouTube to continue growing your business? Are you planning anything outside of YouTube? I want to open a restaurant. Oh, yeah? There's a healthy fast food restaurant. Yeah, they are they only going to have potato? Everything's going to be made of potatoes? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a potato burger. The buns are potatoes. And the patties <laughs> like a potato with mashed potato on top. Yes. Perfect like fries on the side. I actually don't, I don't think ahead at all, so that's way too far in advance for me to think about. Right now, my mind is like, make yeah. YouTube videos and work and, It's funny I you. laugh, but I think that's actually kind of smart. I think sometimes we get caught up in like future stuff too much. I want to shoot documentaries, and I have a couple other businesses that I'm going, but they're kind of under wraps still, I think. Uh, but yeah, docs, that's what I'd really like to do in the future more of. Uh, okay, this one's a good one. Okay. This might even be the title of the video. Specs aside, what was your favorite camera you ever used? If you had to pick one camera right now, use it for the rest of your life, what would you use? Aria Alexa Mini, for sure. Yeah? Well, unless I'm doing YouTube. No, 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 it's for everything. <laughs> I can't use an Aria Alexa yeah, Mini for that's, YouTube. That's, well, that's what you chose, you're screwed now. <laughs> what are you doing? I think my favorite, like if I had to pick one camera, I think it would still be the C300 Mark II right now. Because it can be a one-man band camera, you could you could use it for like YouTube. It wouldn't be outrageous to like be filming this on a C300 Mark II. It'd be a little bit overkill for sure, but it wouldn't be outrageous. Right. You have uh, autofocus. Yeah, you have autofocus. Uh, the image looks really, really good. I'm always surprised when I look at the footage. I'm just like, dang, this looks really good. Uh, so yeah, I think just like overall, I would right Can now Can I change still... my answer? No, 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 you're stuck Dang with the <laughs> Alexa <laughs> That thing's so heavy. <laughs> Sucker. No, okay, what would you change your answer to? I would do C300 Mark II. <laughs> I was purely you based can't... on my own opinion. <laughs> you can't change now. <laughs> and those things are bulletproof too. Yeah. You can take those things through some serious weather conditions. Yeah. And, and right now you could probably get it for pretty cheap. I think it is one of the best overall cameras still for a lot of people because something like an Alexa Mini, it's it's an amazing camera, but it does take a lot more to use it. It's not like like when we were using it in, in Las Vegas, I was like, yeah, bring it over. And like it's just like so much work to, to like bring it out. It's so heavy. You can't like just walk somewhere far because it's so heavy. You need kind of need somebody to help out with it, like the C300, I can just like, I can literally film all day long by myself, no problems at all. Like, no problems at all. That's why I chose the Alexa Mini, <laughs> but it's not even that mini. <laughs> it's, it's it's smaller, but it's like stuffed with like metal plates or something. It weighs a ton. Uh, right? And it blows hot air at you. The battery <laughs> itself weighs as much as like the yeah. C300. Yeah, exactly. Okay, if you were to do an extreme sport, what would it be? Kick flips on a skateboard. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too soon. You should, you should, you should. <laughs> How about For those you? of you who don't know, show, show them your scar. Yeah. There you go. That's the full scar right yeah. there. That whole thing. Hello. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, no kickflips for Gene anymore. 
Okay, what's the most overrated advice you've ever heard? To me, it's the it's that like find something that you love doing and you, you'll never work a day in your life. That that whole thing. Mm -hmm. I think that's like the biggest bunch of BS ever. <laughs> like if you find something you love, you're gonna work harder than you've ever worked in your life, I feel like. Oh yeah, like I love making YouTube videos, yeah. but I've never worked so hard in my life. Exactly, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Both of us love doing what we do, but we work so hard at it also. Yeah. Like it's Sunday, we're working yeah. on a Sunday. But it's worth it, it, it oh, pays off. I wouldn't 100%. trade it for anything else in yeah. the world, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of work and I don't sleep ever. Yeah, but that's I, such a lie. If, if, <laughs> if you're thinking that once you find that right thing, it's, it's not gonna feel like work ever for you. That's like, no. Even like the travel videos, like every time I watch back my travel videos, I'm like, that it looks so much fun. Yeah. But when you're actually there, it's kind of like, Man, it's kind of hot. That's like, why so did I have to come to another <laughs> tropical place? Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> be hiking with this massive camera backpack with a drone on it. It's sweating buckets. You just want to be at the beach relaxing. But yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. We enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Right? What are your specs wish list for the next Canon camera? You've heard about the next one, right? Like the... The rumors, the, yeah. Yeah, it's either the 1DX Mark III or the mirrorless version of that. So what are your specs wish list? Oh, I think I think the things I want is pretty similar to what most people want. Like honestly, this Canon EOS R you're filming with right now, it's so close. It just if it had 4K really with full frame uh, sensor readout. So, uh, yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. What, what else? Uh, oh, oh, IBIS would be nice if it was. Do you this. prefer IBIS over EIS? Do you use EIS, electronic like, image stabilizer? Yeah, well, that's basically digital, right? Yeah, but, like limited and. Use See, the... I actually in some ways prefer. EIS, yeah, it does crop in a little bit, but you don't ever get the crazy wobbles. Like if you have really good IBIS, like on a GH5, and you put on a wide angle lens and you walk with it, the edges are like wobbling like crazy like this. But EIS, you don't ever get that. So I, I almost, in some ways, prefer EIS over IBIS. Yeah, you know, it's pretty solid. And every time I turn it off or accidentally forgot to turn it on on the camera, I look at the footage, I'm like, whoa, that's yeah, so much shakier than I remember it being. Exactly. But the only caveat is you can't use it on a gimbal. It like messes up if you're using a gimbal, it, it starts to add uh, vertical movement onto your footage. I think I'm with Gene. It's basically an EOS R with 120 frames per second would be nice to have. Um, 4K full, uh, no crop. IBIS would be nice. I would take it. And that's probably, that's pretty much the perfect camera yeah. for me. It's not that, literally all you have to do is add 4K not cropped and 120 frames per second to this camera. And that is the perfect I camera I would pay a me. lot of money for that. I would it, pay a lot if it, of money. If it did a little bit of like 240 frames per second, oh, so yeah, I'd be like, oh, oh yeah. No, you're set for totally. life pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why Canon won't make that camera because they don't want you to be set for life. Yeah, they, they want, want you to, to buy <laughs> the next camera that comes out in the next camera. Exactly, yeah. That's just how it is. All right, I think that was a good Q&A, first Q&A with Maddie and Jean. Thank you for watching. How do we? How, do how we, long do, how do we have we, to? How do we outro this? How do we get out of this? And don't you like to, like to take your hand and like cover the lenses? No, no, do you ever no, do that? That's so lame. That's I, yeah, I never do that either. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I probably do that all the time. All right, Gene. It was good hanging out. Thank you for coming. Wait, I might see you tomorrow still. Oh yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Right, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. No, no. Thanks for answering those questions. <laughs> Lots of wisdom. Good stuff. Go and follow Gene if you haven't. Subscribe. Follow on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. I was gonna film all this other stuff. But I think I'm getting sick. My nose has been running. Just don't feel good. Also just very tired from walking around all day. But thanks for watching. See you guys later. Uh, being sick is not fun. <laughs>